I think a real good assessment of the kind of game that was played. So the, this game tonight was completely different than the three prior, but we didn't try to play the game that was played in the three prior. We accepted the way this game was going to be played very well um, and, and showed some maturity in doing that. And then just some big minute efforts by especially the guys on the back end and Alex Lyon. I mean, the right saves at the right time to hold it for us when we needed them to. So the, but, but some really strong performance on the back half there. Yeah, any updates on Eckler or Bennett? Yeah, I wouldn't even list them as necessarily day to day. We, they may be ready to go for for New York. They just we couldn't get them back into the game. Um, so I, 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 we'll see how they are tomorrow. But our expectation, I don't even know if it's just, if it's short term. I think they just they played tonight, didn't finish the game. They, 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 uh, we're not skating tomorrow, so they may be back for New York, no problem. And Eckler, was that like a line change? He hit somebody. It was. What was what was there? No, it wasn't. It wasn't contact. Okay. Ne- neither really. Well, Bennett's was, but it wasn't a mechanism of injury. He didn't injure anything. It just both of them tightened up. And, and this is all a function of what we're going through. And I'm shocked that it hasn't happened earlier. We've with the amount. I mean, we got off the plane at 4:30 in the morning. Um, you're going to get these kind of overuse injuries uh, in our schedule. And to, to, to gut out a win like this, like you said, you played a different style game because you almost yep. had to. Plus, you had Mon- yeah. Yeah. 62 in the box. What was that? Uh, I'm in no position financially to give you an <laughs> honest answer. Well, they showed, I would they just, showed what you were saying. Well, so. I can say what I want to them. <laughs> I just can't say it to you. Um, I would be. What was the call? Uh, what did they tell you? We didn't get so there was a concern right? that there was some chirping between benches and that there would be a 10 minute misconduct handed out to anybody. Brandon was just waiting for the puck to drop. Gotcha. They picked the best player out of all the chirpers and happened to be ours. Gotcha. Okay. Um, in just a little bit, Alex Lyon, um, another, wow. another night, eh? In good form, right? Like a battler. And he, and he looks, I mean, his personality is what you see in the net. He's scrambling, he's fighting for pucks. Every time he makes a save, the bench goes crazy. Um, and it, it seems to be right now you know, very possibly the energy that we need is that a, a guy like that playing the way he's playing. I mean, we're looking for anywhere we can get some some juice, some fuel in the tank, and he seems to be driving that. Every time he makes a save, the bench goes nuts, and we get fired up. So it's it's perfect timing for him to come and do what he's doing. And what seven two and one now? Yeah, yeah, seven two and one. Last, I mean, th- it it feels like this team maybe is turning a bit of a corner. Do I would, you I would, feel that, or are you just going? No, I would just say it's growing. I don't think that all of the earlier parts, I mean, I can, I can make a fairly, I have a pretty strong understanding of why, but in January we started playing just way harder. Just as simple as that, playing way harder. And then other people, we got healthy. We're getting saves. Our power plays heated up. Penalty kill. I know they gave up two tonight, but our penalty kill has been much better in the last. So the components of our game have all gotten better. But I'm just going to say the whole reason for it is we play way harder right now than we were a month ago. They would work hard. Everybody in the NHL works hard, but there's a whole different level of compete that has to go into putting any kind of run together, uh, and, and, and they are competing hard. Is there a moment where you saw that flip switch to then start to start working harder? I mean, I, th- I thought uh, the, the Carolina game was pretty disappointing for us, and I think it was after that Carolina game we, we started skating more. We got on the ice, and, and um, but in terms of just the switch, it, it actually when Lundell went with Barkov. That's the, I mean, that, those are the small things, but that line now, I, I don't know what, he's probably had 11 or 12 points in the seven games since that happened. Well, you're going to win hockey games on that alone. How pleased are you with what you've seen with the production from that line? They what have, been able to do? right, it's it, almost what they've been able to do, right? They, they're, they're good in both ends of the ice, and most of what they create isn't lucky, it's smart. So they can replicate that. Then it doesn't they have, things don't have to go their way for them to produce. They just do the right things, the smart things, and then they may, you know, make those good hand plays at the very end. But their game is right. What does it say about your club, a game like this, where you're down two defensemen almost the entire uh, second half of the game? You're down a forward. And you talk about the compete. You're able to withstand. Well, that's it, right? The, what we need then is you need your centers lower and everybody harder on the walls. But. If it's not your mindset to do that, to grind, to get against the walls, to win those battles, then then you don't win that game. So their mindset now is right about how hard they're going to play on each shift. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to have things not go our way. But the, the hard we can control the compete, we, we, that's the one thing. And they've done it. Not a leadership in the room, but this is a harder team to play against now than at any point during the year. And, and we got nothing in the tank, and they're, they're doing it on will.
Yeah, do you think this game maybe would have ended the same way if it happened two months ago? No, no. I mean, I, I, I don't want to sell this group short, but we've come off the we've come off the road and we've played well, which is not easy to do. So we do have that in us. But in terms of style of game alone, not a chance. Yeah, but you had the third. You had the third fin the third period finished. And right, and and I think yeah, like and then I thought that you know other than the penalty kill, we were right. You know, and that they've got enough points that they can open up their game. Their back end gets very active. They got some pretty dynamic guys up there. But I thought our last two third periods were very, very strong. And I'm telling you that more of that from feel of the bench, right? The, the there's no panicking going on. They're they're enjoying playing the third period there. So they're they're getting that part right. Your team now riding a five game point streak. What is your confidence level in this group in terms of making the push for the playoffs? Here? When you're going. You feel like you can win every night. You got a chance to win every night. When you're struggling, you God, you can't see that next win coming. Right now, we feel pretty good. It's going to be these next two will be the most difficult of this entire stretch. Um, but we still feel if we just go out there, all you got to do is go out and compete the way we're competing. Then you don't have to worry about tomorrow because that part's right. That's the most important thing. And looking ahead to the next two, any idea how you're going to handle it in terms of goaltending? No. Uh, well, yes, I do. I'm not okay. sharing it yet because we're going to wait to. We're going to wait on a decision whether Spencer goes again tomorrow. He had a good day today, felt good, didn't get a whole lot of work. So we'll see how that plays out. And we'll have Bob will skate tomorrow as well on his own. So we're, we're just kind of monitoring all those things. And, and I, the Forslund came back in, I know that, but I'm sure he's in treatment now. Any concerns? He's there? going to be okay. okay. Yeah, he's, he's going to be okay. The, I'll, I'll tell you what it was in about six weeks because it made what he did more impressive. But he's going to heal up before that. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's not, he's playing. He's fine. He'd practice tomorrow. Okay. He would practice tomorrow if we practice. I mean, we've been talking about how hard Grigory Denisenko has been playing. He gets uh, rewarded with a point. What were your impressions on him tonight? I thought he, in his last three games, has shown what his skill set is, what he can do. He can hang, he's willing to go into the dark areas, and he can hang on to pucks, and he can make plays under pressure. So that alone can get you in the NHL as long as you're consistent with it. And he was that all night. He really seemed